Let's take a look at this opinion piece in the Coeur d'Alene Press, which is generally a toxic, utterly toxic rag. But of course, sometimes they have to throw a bone. And this piece is called June is for Gratitude and Humility. And it's by one Tony Ambrosetti. And he says, one of the ironic consequences of the promotion by politicians and educators of their version of diversity is that our cancel culture has abandoned the beautiful and many faceted history of our region in particular, and our country in general. Ironically, progressives scream for diversity and inclusivity, but this is defined by what they deem worthy of inclusion. Meanwhile, severely limiting or denigrating any appreciation of our rich and truly diverse history and culture. A recent example is the new story of the farmer in Louisiana who supposedly made offensive suggestions on social media. Ross McKnight's references to that state's heritage of French Catholicism evidently upset some of the woke members of his community. Apparently, they objected to his encouragement of his fellow residents of the Bijou State to remember that long before June was co-opted by a vocal minority, it was the month devoted to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. This Catholic father of five, who operates a small family farm north of New Orleans, simply reminded his social media readers that Louisiana has a rich Catholic history, a unique culture, and suggested that they rededicate themselves to centuries-old devotions to the Sacred Heart of Jesus traditionally celebrated during the month of June. For this, the progressives in Louisiana have attempted to impoverish him and his family by ruining his business. The devotions Ross McKnight encourages consist of Catholics dedicating themselves anew in humility and grateful recognition for the love famously symbolized by the flaming heart of Christ. The prayers and consecrations evince nothing but love and charity for God and for all humanity. No impartial observer could ever conclude that these are hateful devotions. But Mr. McKnight's critics were anything but impartial as they circled the wagons around their agenda. As always, people of their ilk are quite selective about what they mean by diversity and inclusivity. Here in North Idaho, the very people who are always shouting about celebrating diversity don't seem to have any interest in learning about our real history and culture. They have watered down our own rich and unique culture. They ignore the fact that June is the month of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. They fail to acknowledge that the Coeur d'Alene Indians accepted the ancient religion introduced to them by the black robes by zealously honoring the Sacred Heart. It may come as a surprise for residents of North Idaho to learn that Nearly two centuries ago, the Coeur d'Alene Indians undertook to build a house for the Great Spirit, which was dedicated to Christ's sacred heart. One need only take a short trip over Fourth of July Pass to see the beautiful mission of the Sacred Heart, built by the Coeur d'Alene's under the supervision of Father Anthony Rivali between 1850 and 1853. Having long anticipated in their lore the arrival of the Black Robes, the Salish tribes were exceedingly grateful to God for having sent these dedicated and courageous men with their strong medicine, i.e. the Mass and Sacraments. The first inhabitants of this region quickly grew to love the beautiful faith in which the Jesuits instructed them. In their innocence and simplicity, they could discern the sublime beauty of the old rituals and became particularly attached to the reverent prayers and ceremonies of the traditional liturgy. But how many Idahoans know about this rich history of our region? The local newspapers rarely, if ever, cover edifying events as religious processions and ceremonies, even when hundreds participate. Instead, we are pummeled with propaganda promoting the novel and inorganic intrusions into our culture that, in recent years, have occurred in June. Why not devote news articles, for example, to the beautiful ceremonies and processions occurring all around us in the month of June? After all, the Sacred Heart devotions are part of our legacy, inextricably woven into the history and culture of North Idaho. The message of Jesus to St. Margaret Mary, demonstrated by Christ's flaming Sacred Heart, is one of mercy and love. June is a special time for Catholics to humbly ask forgiveness for sins and to show gratitude for Christ's mercy. 
Why not promote these virtues of humility and gratitude publicly, since they are a distinct and significant part of our own unique culture? Ross McKnight's advice is relevant as well for us here in North Idaho. Let us value our older traditions and customs and not allow them to be eclipsed by more recent innovations and agendas that we may pass them on unadulterated to our children. Bravo! Bravo a thousand times, Tony Ambrosetti. We need more people like this writing to their local newspapers. However toxic these newspapers may be. It's going to be interesting to see the responses in the toxic Coeur d'Alene press. No doubt they'll screen out the strongest positive responses. Any positive responses will mm, probably be poorly written, poorly reasoned, simply emotional, while they'll lean heavily in favor of negative responses. For example, pointing to the alleged crimes of the Catholic Church against the Indians. We'll see. In any event, I encourage you, become active locally. And one of the things that you can do is this kind of thing, write to your local paper, speaking the truth. When I was still in Los Angeles, I had several letters published in the Los Angeles Times. We have to let these demons know that we're still here, that they will not defeat us. They will not occupy our minds with their propaganda.